Hello everyone, my name is James and this is Team Lucid Dream. With the many beautiful and amazing things that Lucid Dream brings, there are still some frustrations that go along with it. Now, some things are more frustrating than others, so for this video we've compiled a list of what we consider the 10 most frustrating things that Lucid Dreamers face. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Number 10. One of the most interesting things to do in a lucid dream is to try to talk to your subconscious. There you can ask deep and thoughtful questions in order to more closely understand your innermost feelings. You finally get a stable lucid dream and come face to face with your subconscious and you ask your question, awaiting a deep intuitive response. And the answer you get makes absolutely no sense. You're telling me the purpose to my life is to defeat Megatron and become the new leader of the Decepticons? What? Number 9. Dream characters are incredible projections that your mind manifests. However, there are times in a lucid dream when you're trying to accomplish something and the dream characters seem to distract you or just want to get in your way. Here's a tip. You can use the force to blast them away if they get too distracting. Or if you're bored. Number 8. If you want to challenge yourself in a lucid dream, you can try to convince your dream characters that they're in a dream. This may sound simple, but it can be very frustrating for many lucid dreamers. Most dream characters refuse to accept it, so it seems to some a waste of time. But less frequently, there are dream characters which seem to be aware that they're in a dream. They can also talk about lucid dreaming or even try to instruct or help the dreamer in some way. Give it a try. Number 7. Lucid dreams can be an opportunity to talk to people that you wouldn't ordinarily be able to talk to in waking life. Whether it's a celebrity or your secret crush, meeting them in a lucid dream can be a great opportunity to talk to them. But sometimes the people in our dreams aren't always hospitable. Sometimes a dream character would rather ignore you or run away than have anything to do with you. It's cruel, but sometimes your crush doesn't want to talk to you, even in your own dreams. Number 6. The wild technique has so many frustrations on its own that it could have its own video on the topic. But for this, I'll just lay down the worst. You're about 15 minutes into your wild and determined and focused to reach sleep paralysis. Until suddenly you feel that little hint of saliva building in the back of your mouth. And you kind of want to swallow it, but you don't really want to because you're not sure you might ruin your wild and have to start all over and then you're thinking about it and... Oh, dang it. Or you just try to power through it and pray to the gods that your reflexes don't make you swallow. Flinching during a wild is also very common and can similarly result in having to start over again as well. Number five, we are back to asking questions to our subconscious. You once again ask your deep and serious question and your subconscious finally gives in and gives you a truly enlightening answer. You wake up excited to write down what they told you. You open your dream journal, put pen to paper, and suddenly you can't remember what they said. Number four, flying can be one of the most incredible and fascinating things to do in your lucid dreams. You want to soar above skyscrapers and clouds and feel the breeze in your hair. You finally achieve lucidity and are preparing to fly. You run as fast as you can and jump into the sky and fall again to the ground over and over again. It is truly one of the most frustrating things in lucid dreams when you try to fly but can't stay airborne. Try flapping your arms like wings or materializing a jetpack if you want to get past this. But if you stay on the ground, I guess you know how penguins feel now. Number three, your sex dream ends early. Like really early. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Number two, lucid dreams are almost always exciting and fun, but sometimes things can take a turn for the worst into a lucid nightmare. This will sometimes cause the dreamer to wake up, not because the dream is fading, but because they wanted to. And nobody wants to leave a lucid dream by choice. Number one, the most frustrating things lucid dreamers have to experience is ending a lucid dream early in general. Whether it's because you were so excited that you woke up, or you lost focus and lucidity but the dream continued on, it's kind of a pain. The trick is to find that perfect balance between being focused and alert and trying to maintain lucidity, but not so much so that you wake up. I recommend multiple stabilizations throughout the dream, and you can even carry an object with you to focus on as you do other things in the dream. That's all for the top 10, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, as well as subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter at Team Lucid Dream, as well as join in our online community at TeamLucidDream.com. And if you have any lucid dreaming questions about anything in this video or otherwise, please leave them in the comments section down below for a chance to have your question answered in one of our Friday Q&A videos. And until next time, Dream on.